Hello everyone, it's me, I'm back. How are you all doing today? Oh, I've got my posh telephone voice on. Um, play and make week 12. Unfortunately, I make, I have mi mixed week 11 and week 10. Um, and I apologise for that, Jane, because I had every intention to do it every single week. Um, obviously, things got, got away from me with the wedding and everything, you know, even though it was like I knew it was coming, it was uh is it going to happen isn't it going to happen do you know what i mean so you put things on the back burner and then all of a sudden you think oh my god i haven't got this oh my god i haven't got that so i it just got away from me so i'm sorry about that jane i as i say i'm really enjoying it so um week 12 is let me just find the colors bronze brown purple and then there the i that was the colors and the items were buttons glitter leaves and flowers so as you can see i have an arrangement an assortment of bits and pieces that i've put together uh i did have some some of these little paper clay frames that i've made i actually got i got a thing full of them i'll show you if you're interested but i make, I make them up in advance so i've got lots of them I actually got purple ones here as well so these were made really light they're made with paper clay and these were made with actual you know proper clay so that they're air dry you don't have to put them in the oven or anything but these ones are they've come out really nice actually um, I've got lots of little frames I do prefer the um, I like the paper clay because it's quick and easy and I do like I do like the um, these are all paper that's paper clay that one's proper that one's paper clay they're easier to manipulate as well onto the page so i love them and as i say i've got lots and lots of molds not as many as i'd like because obviously as crafters we'd like to have uh well we'd like to have more wouldn't we being honest so yeah so i got myself a frame i got myself some purple paper if i show you oh dear i'm kicking under my desk now right if i show you i've got all this together and then um we'll make the card up together so first thing is this is just just paper purple paper from um i think it was from middle or something like a pack with all different colors it's just, just very flimsy and i'm going to put this as a map on here and then i've got this beautiful watercolor paper that i got from this one here from hobby craft which is watercolor dreams and um, i absolutely love this paper it's, it makes gorgeous backgrounds and i just thought oh i'm going to use some of that so first thing i'm going to do i've got my glue gun on and first thing i'm going to do is actually cut out the paper too this is a six by six so i usually cut five and a half and then the, the top paper i cut at five so let's cut this out to five and a half on my old decrepit paper cutter which i'd love a new one but um it's my birthday coming up so you never know uh so i'm going to cut this to five and a half by five and a half five and a half by five and a half hope you're all doing well hope you're all um having a lovely day um i'm now on two weeks holiday from work um we were supposed to be flying out to sunny lanzarote on sunday not anymore they cancelled our holiday and um, we're waiting for a refund now which can take up to 28 days and um that doesn't give us any time then to go on holiday so stuck at home with mr t now i did, i'm all right i'm i'm fine i can find things to do it, i think he's going to be driven absolutely demented glit uh, i'm going to use art glit glue just to tuck it down because obviously it's a card it's not going anywhere and this is very fine and uh, i love this glue absolutely love it so let's put that down the first layer so i've got an assortment of flowers i've got some flowers that are foam i've also got some 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 my trouble with this is that it will it will once it's down 
it will dry really quickly or clear blue i don't know if i've got that right right on spot on but without putting my head over the top of it so there's the bottom layer next one is the watercolor which is gorgeous and i'm going to cut that now to five by five and i bet i haven't got any oh, what are they called foam so this is going to be five by five this is cut off a six by six pad so it's five by five so uh do i want the dark or the light i think i have the dark so usually i just come on and show you but today i thought you know what i'll just do it with you and see see what you think and i'm just going to turn my phone on to silent because no doubt that's going to ring yeah so um we're going to be driving each other mental no doubt i've got um my paper distressers so i'm going to distress the edges which i like to do on my cards and then i'm going to so this is a little one i think i got it from hobbycraft it's a little paper distresser you could use your scissors if you've got scissors everybody's got scissors what a stupid thing to say Ange. And um, let's get rid of that. And then I'm going to ink around the edges with some purple. So this is my stash. This is my stash of uh, distressers. And I don't know if they're actually all in here. What I did was I I got a piece of label, sticky label, and then I put the colour off the pad onto it. And they're all supposed to face up the other way so that you can actually see what colours they are. But some of them have gone the other way. So I'm going to use Seedless Preserves Distress Oxide. These are all oxides. I, I've got some inks. Uh, the little ones are inks. The little tiny ones. i got a pack of those which are inks. And you should. With the little ones, I've usually got a little pad on the bottom. I'll show you. Distract, getting distracted away from the actual saying that i haven't even got i haven't got even got the pad on the bottom i've got to find the purple one okay so that's not on there delete that comment and let's find some oh, there we go i've got these little things i keep all my what i do is put a bit of velcro on there this uh, this idea where i got from colette which was country creations and it's a piece of velcro on there and then you just stick it on and then you've always got the color for the pads but as time has gone on i've got distracted by other things so i'm just going to change my dobber to this and then i'm just going to go all on the edges with the and then the bits that you've roughed up if you lift them up a little bit because they're going to be bent in all different directions so it's always a good idea to make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies yeah so we'll see what happens apparently Tom said it's going to be lovely weather next week so we might be whipping off down to the coast but it's like I said to him, it's not pleasurable because everywhere you go, you know, if you go in the, because I love the arcades, I love to go in the arcades and play on 2P machines, absolutely love it, spend an absolute fortune, you know, and it's my passion, I do love it, um, but then you're going to spend all your time with the bloody mask on, excuse my French, but I don't know, let's see what happens, my back's finally 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 on the mend so i will what i'm going to do is put a bit of velcro on there I'll actually I'll do that with all my but i'm going to have to order some more of these little pads or buy some oops i'll be craft oh excuse me right put me pink one on because i use that one all the time so now i need some foam tape if i can find some just to hand that would be great but I'm not holding my breath. What I might have to do is put it on card, cardboard. I can't see anything. Oh yeah, I can. There you go. Phone tape. Sort it. Better than what? Because I keep my phone tape. I've got a cupboard in here, and I keep, I've got like one of those shoe racks on the back, and I usually keep it on there. But 
keep it in there so when it runs out I need to go and get another one I've got to buy some more actually so I'm going to put this up on foam tape I think so this is not your just general I'm trying to do it as quick as I can so you haven't got to watch a video for half an hour for a card but that's how long it takes isn't it right so I did get a lot of stuff ready so I've got the purple I have the what was it brown which I'm going to use buttons brown buttons and I have the bronze which is the frame which I painted in bronze metallic paints so let's stick this down take these off and then I've got flowers and um, what was the other thing glitter well what I've done with the flowers I'll show you in a minute I use this acrylic paint which is purple it's a pearl one I got it from Hobbycraft and it's purple and it's pearl and it's lovely it's gorgeous I use that and uh, I'll show you now let's get this let's get this I'm gonna have to look down on it because I'm gonna get it wrong aren't I that looks about right that's fine so that's my next layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend up the paper a little bit some of my cards I stitch as well, I'll stitch around them, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do you one of my cards, um, trying to use all the elements that are not more. So it's very important for me because I always put my stuff on upside down to double check that I've got it the right way round. Now, don't let me move it, whatever you do. So I have lost some bits already oh there we go i got a little bit of this stuff i can't remember what it's called but it's it's like strawy stuff I, I went to hobby i went to country baskets to get a little bag of it and i ended up with a massive bag of this but i can't think what it's called so i'm going to use some of that um i don't know if i'll put it under the frame or on top um i might put it under actually so this is the frame i'm going to be using so first thing I'm going to do is with my trusty glue gun, which I just ordered a new one, which is coming tomorrow because this one's had it, it keeps dripping. But I've, I have used it for a long, long time. So I got good, I got good value for money out of this glue gun. And then just going to stick it down there. Trying not to burn my fingers. This, this frame, which I, I actually, come on. This frame I actually um, made myself. The paper glue, this thing's just spitting out everywhere. Let's just add it. I'm going to place down. Every picture tells a story, doesn't it? So that's down like that now on the card. So um, that was just a plain frame that I painted. And I got the paint, I could show you it actually. The flowers. This is the flowers I painted because I only had white ones. Um, in these so I just painted them and then I used which is ha 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 this iridescent glitter right and all I did was I got a paintbrush because I learned the hard way with this because it's so fine when I use my fingers I, I then spent a whole weekend um, in absolute agony because I actually rubbed my eye and got some of this holographic holographic glitter in it so I always always use a brush with it now but I've actually glittered in the centers I don't know if you can see that so that's the glitter part of it done I have some little foam flowers which is the foam part of it done I'm not I'm not gonna actually I don't know I don't know if I will use leaves it says flowers and leaves so you can just use flowers can't you these little foam ones I got from country baskets and um, I'm gonna stick these in to the frame like so I've got two of those make up my beautiful card and yeah again I haven't got a sentiment but I'm working on it ladies and gentlemen I'm working on sentiments so I'm going to stick this one here like that can you see it I tried to zoom in with my camera but then it was so close and I oh, I don't know I got myself in the right state so I thought I'll just do it from this height and then um, I don't know hopefully you can see what I'm doing I have also got, where are they? Where are they? I've also got some Prima flowers as well. So I found some that are a bit purpley. I might use one of these in there. Because they're really sweet, really pretty flowers they are. 
just to give it a bit of contrast um these are i've hoarded i've hoarded these because i love them so much and then um i don't know if it works i don't know if that works that color i might not use the premium flowers I, do, I know i want contrast but you don't know until you put it against it to see if it is going to be the right thing to use i think i prefer that one i'll just leave it there a minute and then these ones which are they're in white you can see i've painted some of them pink any color that you want if you've got little these little um beautiful little flowers um you just pick up pick up a pack and then you can just snip them off they come in white they come in gold they come in cream they come in yellow um all different colors but if you haven't if you've only i've i did buy loads and loads of white ones and i just thought you know i'll just paint them whatever i want them to be so these are really really pretty i don't know if you can see i don't know if you can see the sparkle on them let's see if i can get them get them to sparkle 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 you might be able to just see the little bit of sparkle so i yeah, just dabbed glitter in the center and um let's take that out a minute let's just put some of these flowers in and see if i can actually meet the spec this this time so yeah i don't know if i do need might need a bit of contrast actually yeah i'm going to put this one in it's purple and pink but it don't matter do it I have too much purple so i'm going to pop that one in there then i'm going to put some more of these they're still a little bit wet but i just thought if i wait for if I wait for them to dry, I'm going to be waiting forever. So there is another one. Just pop them in wherever you want. I might... I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll put, uh, just cut that one right off as far as close as I can. Sorry, can you see what I'm doing? So I'm going to pop that one in just there so it comes it's out of the frame it's escaped like so and then let's put another one up there you've just got to play with it until you it's something that pleases you because at the end of the day i have done projects where i've thought i don't really like it and i can't even convince even other people say oh that's beautiful i just can't convince myself so I'm going to put these in so that they're actually outside of the frame. Like that. Just hot glue in them. And then, do we want this one out of the frame? So if I'd, in hindsight, if I'd have left a li some little gaps, I could have actually lifted up the frame in places and popped these flowers in. But hindsight is a great thing, isn't it? There we go. So let's see. So this one's going to come out of the frame and down like that. So I've used up all my flowers now. So I haven't got any more flowers. The only thing I could do is have along here have a sentiment, but I'm not sure. What I'm going to do that with, maybe, and then I got to, I got to use buttons, and I maybe my sentiment might be let's see if I can find a sentiment. So like that, and then um, a bit of the, the other this stuff. So let's put some tape on that. I won't stick it down yet until I'm happy with it. Because that would be a disaster. And then let's shabby this up a bit. I'm doing it off the hook off off of the that could go on there i'll um ink around there and then i need a sentiment what have i done with that little basket with all those bits in oh, there it is 
what I was showing you the other day. See if I can find the sentiment in here. Oh, la, la. Um, oh, I found a purple one that says pretty. Here we go. That'd do, wouldn't it? Right then. Ink. Um, seedless preserves. Oh, don't we make a mess when we're crafting. So this one I'm going to ink round with the seedless preserves, which is a nice contrast to the... All right, so there's that. I'm going to ink round this with my seedless preserves. I'm get absolutely covered doing it like this, but never mind. And then this this little um, saying I got from an Etsy shop, um, I can't remember the, the name of it now. That's, that's bad of me, isn't it? But it's actually got purple in the background as well. So I'm going to put pretty. And then I have to find a brown button. It doesn't have to be dark brown. It could be any shade of brown. Let's have a look. I'm make a terrible mess. Mr. T coming in. He's been out. He's gone out. He's escaped. So let's stick this down with some art glitter glue. And let's see how we get on. Just a little bit. Like that. And then pretty, pretty, pretty. It's the first one I come across actually. I've got lots of, there's lots and lots of sayings on it, but pretty. And then maybe I'll put a button there. I don't know. This button. It's got to go in, hasn't it? Whether I like it or not. Right. Oh, I've got some brown buttons. Brown buttons. Stupid quest. Stupid thing to say. I've got tons of them. That's a brown button. So I'm going to put a button on there and uh, I'm going to stitch it on which is I know you think I'm mad but you're not wrong there you don't have to be crazy but it does help all right don't take it out Ange because you'll end up with all sorts of knots this was a stupid idea see I do have stupid ideas no it won't come out I just thought oh, I'll just wrap it round, wrap it round, wrap it round. And now I've got myself in a right pickle. No, don't go that way. Oh my goodness. What have I done? But I just want to stitch it, all right? I don't know what I've done. Ah, there we go. Because i got so much ink on my fingers, my... My actual thread's got purple on it now, which is good. So I'm going to stitch this little button onto the sentiment, even though it's going through the sticky stuff as well. And it's made, made my needle sticky. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. You really don't mind should have stitched it on first but never mind hindsight is a great thing as we say I'm stitching my little brown button on it's quite quirky actually doesn't it let's get through the card without stabbing my finger come on I don't want to go through the same hole again there we go And then what I'll do is I will put a little bit of glue under this as well, this button, just to hold it in place because it's only stitched through card and cards can just be ripped, ripped through, can't it? Right, clip that off. And then I will just put a little tiny, little tiny dob of glue blob of glue whatever you want to call it underneath it should be art glitter glue really but no what's it called 
primary tack really, but this will work just to hold it in place. There we go. And I've made a terrible mess. And I just stick that there. So that is my card, my six by six. A little bit more prepared this week because um, in other, other weeks, when, I, when my mind was distracted and it was all over the place, I didn't do very well, I'll be honest with you. I did not do very well at all the last couple of weeks because I was just thinking about other things. So let's clear a space, make it look all pretty. So there's my card. So it's pretty. So I use the bronze. Um, I use, uh, it's not, I don't know if it's showing up as bronze on here, but it is actually bronze because the paint was called bronze metallic. Um, so I painted the frame. I used some foam flowers. I also uh, painted some flowers and put a little bit of the glitter, the holographic glitter in just in the centers. Um, and then um, what was it? What else was it? Brown button and a button and uh, a little sentiment this time. So I hope you like that everybody. I quite like this one this week. It's uh, I've enjoyed it because I've just been focused on it. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Go along and join because it's great fun. It's the Crafting Shed Davis, which is the lovely Jane. And every week <coughs> we've had during lockdown, play and make. And it's just, you always got to do a six by six and she pulls out three colours and she pulls out three items. So the three colours this week were uh, brown, bronze and purple. And you had to use button glitter and flowers and leaves well i haven't got any leaves on there but i've got flowers so so it says flowers and leaves i could pop a couple of leaves in but i haven't so anyway that's my entry jane i hope you like it and uh, i'll speak to you all soon folks thank you thank you everyone for watching and supporting my channel and thank you to everybody that subbed to me i am so appreciative i cannot believe i've got nearly 400 subbies which to me is mind blowing. I thought in the very beginning when I started, I would probably only have a handful like my my family, you know, and my family all support me and all my my grandchildren, the girlies, all their friends and um, uh, all their friends and everything. They all they all watch as well and they all they all support me. So I want to say hi, girls and boys, because I've got some 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 gentlemen as well young men as well as older people whole fogies like me um yeah i just want to say hi to everyone and uh i'll see you all later folks thank you everyone for watching and thank you for your all your continued support i hope you like my card um and uh i'll be back soon with another exciting episode so thank you for watching bye for now bye bye bye